We have a real world test for bus life today to see what kind of things you can and can't use in a bus because there is one thing I have been missing ever since we moved into this bus and that is toast. I love to have toast for breakfast or toast with my breakfast and I haven't been able to. And some of you might remember that when we were in Colorado, we bought the camp toaster. Have you guys seen this thing before? It's kind of precarious. Like you have to fold up these flimsy little wire things and hope that they stay in place. Here, let me show you. There, and then you put your slice of, slices of bread all the way around it like this, and you can use it on a campfire or a stove. But it takes forever on a stovetop to toast, and it still doesn't have quite the same consistency as bread out of a toaster. And you have to use like normal, like Wonder Bread size pieces of bread. You can't use anything bigger. Like bigger sizes, yeah. Because you can only put two on and it. And the bread like curves as you're cooking it. The bread curls around. So then when you flip it the other way to toast the other side, it's like in a letter C shape. It's ridiculous. So I have not been happy with this toaster. Which brings us to this. The new toaster. We're going to try the new toaster and see if our solar power system can handle making this much heat without our inverter protesting. Now we already know one thing that doesn't really work well in the bus and that's my hair dryer. When I tried to use my hair dryer, which on the hot setting and blowing air, it made our inverter like make this loud buzzing soy like sound like it was really protesting. So it worked. It but worked. Yeah. It, it makes the inverter go nuts. Yeah. And, it, and I was like, okay, is this damaging the inverter? Like, I don't know if we're supposed to do this. So I have not been using my hair dryer at all. I use the diesel heater to dry my hair. You guys, I just flip over upside down and let the vent blow hot air. It takes like five minutes to dry even my long thick hair with the diesel heater. It's so fast, but, um, just a little side note, did some research on the noises that the inverter makes. And they say it won't damage it. It just has to do with how the hair dryer is processing the power as it's going in. So, but it's disconcerting when you hear your inverter making all sorts of racket. So we just don't like to do it because it just, just sounds like something's breaking. Yeah, it just sounds bad. It makes you worried. So let's find out if the toaster is going to work or not work with our inverter. I have a bad feeling only because it has the same kind of heating elements as like your hair dryer would have. So, but it doesn't blow air at the same time. It doesn't time, blow air at the same so time. That might be the game changer here, but hopefully this works good. We're going to find out. And you know what's really ridiculous? Like we had a toaster in our old house and our bus was parked out in front of our old house for the whole three years we were building it and we never took our toaster out to the bus and tried it. I just sold the toaster in the yard sale because I thought it wasn't going to work. But now that I'm missing toast so much, I'm willing to give it another try. It's so fancy and red. It's a cute I love it. It's a cute little guy. Pioneer Woman actually had a flowery one that a one. flowery one that matched the exact color of our kitchen, but we just couldn't bring ourselves to buy it. No, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Make sure there's nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, no styrofoam or anything. Right. All okay. right. Big test here. Oh. Got a fresh loaf of bakery bread over here, ready to give it a go. It's delicious. Oh, well, let's show them. We got the bagel version. It, this was a huge criteria. Is it this one? Or this yeah, one? Bagel, yeah, it's bagel. Huge criteria for Mike. It had to have a bagel, bagel setting or Mike wasn't going to buy the toaster. I just like having my bagels and I don't mm -hmm. like the backside all crunchy. Okay, ready? Do it. I can hear the inverter turn on, but it's not buzzing. No, that the refrigerator just came on. Nope, that's the inverter. It's the it's oh. the fan on the inverter because oh. it's processing so much power right now. It's not making that screaming buzzing sound like it did with my hair dryer. So this the is, toaster is working. Do we get to have toast again? High five. I'm so excited. I'm not even sad that I sold my old <laughs> toaster because I got a shiny new red one. <laughs> I'm liking this much better than this. Heck yeah. This is going to Goodwill. 
forthwith. Of course, some poor soul. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a bad joke. <laughs> oh look, it's a toaster, mom. Can I get this? Yes. I mean, the idea is there, and maybe it works a lot better on a campfire. I can't say for sure because I've never tried it on a campfire. I know. But it just, it just doesn't, top, I mean, if you can make better toast in a toaster in your schoolie, I could totally go that way. Yeah, we're doing Cause it. Because this thing was a pain in the butt. It took too long to set up, blah, 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 blah. It took too long to toast. It yeah. was crazy. I mean, you can make sacrifices in your bus, but if you don't have to, like, don't. Yeah, you don't have to. You're only making two pieces of toast for yourself? Got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I butter my toast from coast to coast. That's right. Butter is like my lifeblood. It's delicious. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, for the nerds like me, this thing is drawing 60 amps. Okay, so just be advised that if your solar system isn't capable of supplying that kind of stuff, like you're going to hear noises from your, your battery bank and stuff like that, or your something in there's going to beep and not work so just be advised 60 amps is a lot of power but well worth every amp you guys i'm so happy to have toast for breakfast again this is how you know when mike's working on a project you just follow the trail that's right <laughs> this is how professionals do it back off amateur <laughs> we're just doing a little facelift giving bussy a little facelift a little eye lift. Yeah, <laughs> brightening up his eyes. Yeah, because the, the, our, our headlights weren't very good to begin with, and then a couple of them didn't work, so I had to be in high beam mode all the time. And I was just getting tired. Like, it was a little stressful driving at night sometimes when you get on a dirt road or something like that, and I can't run these up here. And so it's just dim. These things promise to be like, oh, my God, I, like, I can see everything now. So <laughs> I'm hoping that's what it is anyway. Right. We so, can hope. But I am finagling this together here in a strange way because I had to make some changes in the wiring and I needed to uh, redeem uh, some of the connectors out of this okay. to make this all work. Well, you're the man for the job. I think so. We believe you can do it. I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> Also, I didn't get a chance to record it because Mike was at work, but we got a new windshield on the car for all of you who were concerned about the gigantic crack that was spreading all the way across our windshield. Looks great now. We still haven't been able to completely um, replace the headlight yet because some of the stuff behind where the headlight has to mount is bent and there's another whole piece in there that goes across the whole front that we have to replace. So this one's kind of, we're still looking like robo car over here and that, uh, that one's going to have to wait until we can get the right piece to do that whole repair. Well, with just a little bit of finagling, we really changed the ow uh, the headlights on this thing. Man, what did you change? So we took off like these. The old lights. And then a couple of them weren't actually working anymore. And we replaced it with LED lights that... Uh, so not only did we get better lights, but now both of them are low beams and both of them are high beams. So in high, in low beam mode, um, it'll already have twice as much light as it did before. Really? So normally one would be a low beam light and the other would be a high beam light? Well, one of them, uh, normally one would be a low beam light and both would be high beams. High beams. Okay. So this way you just made them both low beam and both high beam. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we'll have twice as much light just normally driving. And then if we go to high beam, um, It'll obviously be brighter because they're LED. Cool. I like that cardinal over there. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how our headlights look. Are these the dims? There's the brights. 
Let me just tell you, this bag of birdseed was the greatest purchase. We are having such a good time watching all the birds and chipmunks and rabbits coming in to eat all the birdseed that I sprinkled around our bus. And it's the Southwest blend, so it's the right birdseed for our area. Oh my gosh, they're going to be having a chipmunk party up there. Some for the birds, too. I put a whole bunch right outside the window where we like to film. <laughs> In our little Birds of Arizona guidebook, there's a checklist in the back, and we already have eight birds checked off, and six of those eight have been right here from Indian Bread Rocks. And we're not done yet. Yeah, and that's just the birds. That's not even to mention like the chipmunks, the cottontails, the jackrabbits, the bobcat, the cotamundi, the coyotes. Like, there's some really diverse wildlife right here at this spot that's, where we can. That was cool. Yeah. Anyway, it's just been fun spotting all this stuff. Morning, you guys. Time to go to work. Making coffee, getting dressed. It's just about to turn six. I got up a few minutes early this morning and my alarm's about to go off, but I need a little coffee this morning before we get that going. That's what I wake up to. It's first thing in the morning and Mike has already gone to work. I always stay in bed a little bit longer after he leaves, but I have to show you this thing he does for me. Without fail, every single morning that he leaves for work while I'm still in bed, he always gets my coffee filter ready for me with all the coffee grounds in the filter. So all I have to do is turn on the tea kettle, boil my water and pour my coffee. It's so sweet. I just love it that he does that. Today is going to be an editing day, so I'll show you what that looks like for me. We brought the computer we had at home in the bus with us because we couldn't see any reason to get rid of it. It works great. So this is our computer tower down here. The button is on the side to turn it on so you can't see it, but that's how I get started. And in this drawer is where we keep, I'm going to use the keyboard, um, the mouse, and this little controller thing what is it called like a shuttle or something like that with um all my little editing controls so i can use one hand to do all the things i do while i'm editing this plugs into here these are all connected to our computer inside this cupboard where we keep some other like tripods and other equipment and stuff and like our external hard drives and things like that um, and the keyboard is connected to the little, what are these things called? The little dongle thingy. There's one for the keyboard and one for the mouse. 
and then I use the TV screen as my editing screen so I have like a full I think it's 32 inches or something as my editing screen which is awesome whoops the next thing I do is take this little card I think it's called an SD card right I take it out of the camera and put it in the little card reader oh this way and then I plug this into this little port over here there we have it we use Adobe Premiere to edit so this is what my screen looks like when I'm editing this little window up here shows um, each clip as I'm watching it and deciding which part to put in the timeline this down here is the timeline so each little segment of blue that you see here is a separate video clip and down here underneath is the sound that goes with each video clip the little pink part up here is where words have been added on the screen and the little green part down here is where music or other sound effects have been added and then this screen up here is where I can just press play and watch whatever I've created in the timeline down here playing in this window up here so that's um I guess a really basic general overview of what it looks like when I'm editing this is where I sit to edit which is completely kicked back comfy and cozy like I couldn't imagine a better place like I'm so glad I don't have to sit at a desk oh and if I do get tired of sitting even though this couch is ridiculously comfortable I can always um, take my controls and stand here like a standing desk and I can move this a little bit farther and back so I have different work areas to work from I actually like to open this drawer and put the keyboard here this is perfect for me. <laughs> so funny, huh? So, this is what I do when Mike's at work. I usually, on the days that he's home, I totally hang out with him and we go and do fun stuff together. So when he's at work are the days that I work and we have the flexibility to schedule our lives like that, which I think is pretty cool. Or debt. Yeah, completely debt free. And yeah. then that opens up some bigger doors for him. It's so worth it, you guys. If you are dreaming of a life like this, go... We took a quick... We took a quick... God, I can't even talk right now. We took a quick trip in the car to get to the Fort Bowie National Historic Site Trailhead and we kidnapped our camp neighbor Lindsay. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're um we've never been here before, so we're just checking it out, right? Have you been here? No, I'll, no? I'll let you to rescue somebody. Oh, to, you've been here, but not on the I trail. I haven't been on the trail. I just okay. waited for the search and rescue to bring it to me. So we're gonna see what it's like. We sat here for hours waiting for. Oh, we're going by their Butterfield Stage Station. Oh, wow. Did I just mess Whenever it up? get there if they have a sign every 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Everybody's talking like the waterfall. <laughs> oh, they definitely do. That's good. <laughs> but don't be taking it too fast up there, good buddy. <laughs> Turn around. Hey, where are you guys? <laughs> Yeah, this is really neat, isn't it? Scrub oak and what, juniper maybe? The perfect resting spot. Yeah, pretty cool. Thanks, Bree. <laughs> met and then both sides fled the meeting site as shots echoed through the pass in the following weeks Cochise took more captives in an attempt to exchange for his for his hostages for his family and warriors his efforts failed and Cochise killed the hostages the U.S. Army retaliated by killing the warriors 
More than two, two decades. decades of war warfare yeah. ensued. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. Creepy old cemetery in the middle of nowhere. at this totally Halloween haunted tree. <laughs> oh, it's spooky. Very spooky. I feel smarter just sitting here. Oh, you found another setting spot. Look how smart I feel. <laughs> Oh, I hate it when the camera makes a shadow on the thing. Got like a really raw deal. Holy moly. It is pretty small. It's like the size of the bus. It's only three rooms. Wasn't exactly a posh place to live. No, but they got a beautiful view at least. That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a whole haunted forest. That's what I'm saying. Look at all those trees that look crazy haunted. Wash tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's neat. It's kind of a neat little shelter, isn't that's it? That's actually yeah. from the Dakota Indians, the Sioux. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or Lakota, excuse me, Lakota Indians. They have the beet bottom to it, and they just put a stick over, like, between them. Yeah. Well, they would tie, it looks like they were tied on with string, but they probably tied on with some kind of cordage. That oh, yeah. It's cut with some kind of twine that has rotted. Well, this is a little bigger than your existence, I suppose. Yeah, this is a little, a little more headspace. Mm -hmm. Bigger than my tent and my car. Like it's pretty cool, actually. It's a I good a fort. Family in here. Okay, let's see if we can get all the way to the ruins. We got this. We're there. What? Another the sign? Post. For the horses? Mm -hmm. Agave or mescal provided the primary food staple. There's mistletoe up there. There's a creek down there. This looks a little stagnant. A little bit. Man, these You'll trees are enormous though. Just fill up your canteens, guys. It says, please do not drink. Why? It doesn't say why, it just says, please don't. <laughs> That's crazy sauce. Look like, at how thick this column of moss is. Oh, it might start higher. I know, it's so neat. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> Gary has to walk with when she's coming back. Good? I know, if I have to jump down, I'm going to totally squirt in the mud. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and here comes Mike, four-wheeling up the hillside. You're going four biner. <laughs> That's right. I did it. Everything's fine. 
And well, well, well. Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> The laundress's quarters, the lady who does your laundry. Really? That's a thing? They have their own quarters back there, back then. Okay, never mind. It's pretty big for laundry ladies. Well, there's her old wash tub. Oh, it's wow. all decayed away now. That's craziness. I wonder if this was like a fireplace over in the corner or what? This is cool, huh? <laughs> I like how the oh, cool. the yeah. oh, it's so nice in here out of the wind. It's a good fort. I mean, ha, <laughs> fort. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. Oh, look, some dookie right in the doorstep. So there's all kinds of ruins. Uh oh all over the place out here. So... You can ring my bell bell. <laughs> That's really old. I wonder like, it really is. probably shouldn't have touched that or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wonder if this is just open on like Saturdays or something like that. Maybe I couldn't resist. Oh, is this today's date? Oh, it is today's date. That would indicate that someone has been here. Well, we did pass a couple of people, so it's quite possible. Can you tell what they say? Um... I guess we're gonna find out in a second. Find out, guys. Junior Rangers. Junior Rangers. Let's see yeah. what this one says. That's the date. Oh, that's all? Yeah. Does it say Fort Bowie on it at least? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. That's a good idea, one on each side. <gasps> Good catch! I, I'm like a cat. <laughs> if you look over there, then there's the powder magazine. Right. Okay, and to the right of that was the gun shed. There's the powder magazine and gun shed, right? So if you go straight over, that would put it would be right there. And then if you come up, so we're standing like right here. Right now. Is we're actually, where this building is? Yeah, so this whole area was all these buildings. Well, I would imagine are st they look like stables, but they might be barracks. <coughs> and then look, there's like all these look look to be tents over here, but I can't really tell. That might be. I don't know. Is there a flagpole in the yeah, middle of this? That's and that's that. where the flagpole is, uh -huh. right out there. And I have money that would suggest that they fly a flag on that when this is open. Oh, that would be neat. This is. Fort Bowie, 1894 to 2021. This is like a fully operational brass cannon right here. Man, too bad we don't have a cannonball and some black powder. That would be a good time. <laughs> yeah. We, what were we thinking? <laughs> Look at this old wooden flagpole. It's like a gigantic ship's mast in the middle of the desert. Crazy. I wonder how deep that thing is buried to stay standing up straight. Pretty impressive. I think these are all the, what are they called? The rooms that the soldiers slept in. So I guess these were the barracks for all the soldiers. Pretty big. Man, this would have been pretty impressive back in its day. Ha, ha, ha.